All right, YouTube, this is Maker Steve in the workshop, and uh, we are going to swap out uh, number six of our XT60 connectors. Um, there's been a lot of talk in the community about these heating up, melting, and eventually, if left unchecked, causing fires. I've got a couple that are burned up pretty good. Um, the rest seem to be okay. The condition is caused by poor quality soldering at the factory. Apparently they outsource that work and so these connectors are just crimped. They're not actually soldered, which gives you uh, uh, better conductivity when you're moving the uh, electrons at high speed through the wires. So I've got a uh, pack of 10 XT60 connectors I got off Amazon that were rated pretty highly. And we're going to go through and my, my videos typically cover how to uh, make your prints better as far as quality goes. Uh, this is the first that's actually going to go through and show you how to make your printer safer. So. Uh, to do this, I've got a few things laying out. I've got my Klein wire strippers. I've got the nippers that came with my Ender 3. I've got a solder sucker. I've got some Kester 186 Snow Clean Flux I purchased off eBay. I've got the heat shrink tubing that came in the, the package here. And then uh, I've got some 6040 rosin core solder. And I've got a third hand. And for whatever reason, I got some zip ties there. So, I'm going to turn up the old uh, soldering iron and get that heated up to 370 degrees, which is the proper temperature for soldering 6040 rosin core solder. And I'm going to get right after replacing this connector. So, I'm going to cut it close to the connector itself and try not to get the actual connector when I go to cut through. Um, I just want to cut the wire and I'm going to strip off the heat shrink that came on the wire. And when I strip these, I'm going to take about an eighth of an inch off. So I'm just going to give it a snip, snip, pull. And just expose uh, uh, just enough of that wire to mate with the connector. So I'll move all this out of the way. Now, uh, talking about this connector, the flat side is positive. The uh, rounded hex side is negative. So we will start with a positive one. And I'll set up my third hand so I can get in there. Uh, the power supply end is the most challenging because you have uh, a lot less room. You could probably remove the power supply if you wanted to. I am, I am going to cheat it and get it done right here the way she's sitting. So I'm going to align the, the cable and basically set it in there uh, so it's set nicely on there. I'm going to grab the Kester 186, put a couple drops of flux in there. I'm going to strip off about three and a half inches of solder. And I'm going to grab the soldering iron, give it a wipe on uh, the sponge. And to begin, we're going to put the soldering iron underneath the connector and allow it to preheat. And when it's warm enough, I'll see the, uh, the flux start to bubble a little bit. And then I'm going to get pretty much in line with my connector here. And the trick is to get a good flow, heat that solder up and have it fill the void around your wire inside that connector. Uh, you, 
It takes about three inches to get it right. And you just, in a nice smooth motion. That looks pretty good. Now you don't want so much that you get a bubble underneath that you have the solder sucker. And then you want to cook off the flux. Video number that was good too. six, where I, uh, yeah, so I am going to curse myself a little later because I have done this video about six times and I forgot to put the heat shrink tubing on. So I'm going to pop that off and Hope my buddy Ed can clean up my mistake. I'm going to snip off about a half inch of heat shrink. And I'm going to put them on there first this time. And then I'm going to do it all over. Third hand lined up. I'm going to put it underneath. I'm going to melt down that solder and I'm going to get that in there. That was a uh, rookie move, but it's easy enough to fix. And I'm going to bring the heat shrink tubing up and the heat from the, the soldering I've done is going to shrink that end and I'm going to be able to tuck it inside the uh, little circle provided. And now I'm going to move to the negative terminal. Okay, so we'll put our flux, a couple of drops in there, peel off what we need as far as wire goes, and preheat that terminal from below. I can see that flux bubbling, and I'm going to put this on the top, and I'm going to drive that solder right inside of that connector. And boil off all the excess flux. If you get too much, you'll get a bubble down below, which uh, Definitely not what you want. So that would cause you to use a solder sucker to clean that up. We'll shrink this just a little bit and get it to tuck. That one's not playing as nice as I'd like, but it looks like I'm going to be able to get it to work. Turn on the heat gun. And we'll shrink this up. We'll come over to the other side. Snip it on the other side of the connectors. 
take a look at that. It looks pretty good, really. But I definitely don't see any solder in the end. And now we'll have a little bit more room to work with here. So we'll start with the positive, but we'll make sure we put our heat shrink tubing on first. For those who want to take a little slower pace at this, I do have uh, a uh, write-up that walks you through it step-by-step -step on makersteve.com. Okay, positive means the flat side goes there, and of course i got to strip some wires, uh, eighth of an inch back. We're going to line this up. A little flux in there. Grab our heat gun. Or our soldering iron. Excuse me. And preheat the connector from below. We're looking for that flux to start bubbling. There we got it. I'll take the solder and just slide it in the void, making sure I get some in and around the, the wire. And then I'll boil off the uh, excess flux. Looks like a good clean connection. We'll pull it off here, do a little test tug, and then we'll bring that up and get that heat shrink to go in that slot provided around the outside and make sure we get a good ground. And now we're going to do the negative. I lined up the negative so that the uh, insulation just butts up against the connector. Put a little flux in there. And I'll get my set of solder down over here. I'll peel off three and a half to four inches. Preheat the bottom until I see the uh, flux start to bubble. If you can get the uh, solder lined up with the wire to go right in, there we go. If you get it right, it's a nice smooth motion. We'll bubble off the excess flux. That looks like a pretty good connection. So we'll pull this off. We'll give it a good tug. While it's warm, we'll go up there. Give the heat shrink a spin so it'll go in the little slot provided. And that looks pretty good. So turn on the heat gun. From uh, an 
angle or two. And there you have it. We've got new connectors put for our uh, Ender 3 XT60 connectors. Installed, ready to go. We know they were soldered. Uh, there's no surprises there. And now we've got a safer printer than we had when we started. We've only got two more to do. So if you uh, like what we're doing, post a comment, subscribe, like, follow us on social media, and we will see you the next time. This is Maker Steve signing off.